Hello beautiful souls, I am Awakened Soul and today we're going to be looking at the DXY. The, U the DXY is the US dollar and it tends to move opposite from stocks including crypto. So I always like to keep an eye on what the DXY is doing. So like always we're going to start off on my monthly chart. Just visualize it, no expectations, no emotions. And I'm just going to draw some key trend lines that I see are necessary, like this downtrend, right? One touch, two touches. And monthly is red. One touch, two touches here. Okay. Then we're going to have a nice uptrend here. One touch, two touches. And I am going to follow this. So sometimes the wicks will throw you off. So go ahead and pull the line chart out. And that's going to help you determine better trend lines, right? So we came down, we went up. So see how on the monthly right here, you see this beautiful like falling wedge back in the day. And then it pushed to the upside. Hmm, that's interesting. So imagine if we had that falling wedge measure and move. Let's just do it for the fun of it because I just slide right now. And that's the beauty about TA is that oh, it would be like a double top. It's like with no expectations, with no emotions, you come into the charts and you assess. So once I have my major trend lines that I would consider major trend lines, what I'm going to do, like I always do, is move into the previous week from price action and set my range right this is my high monthlies are red this is my low so you have your monthly range there okay so now that this is concluded let's go into the weekly within the weekly right oh i didn't give you monthly targets let me go back apologize so the way i see monthly targets are based on major trend lines so this remember this falling wedge broke to the upside it hit one monthly target there and this would be my next monthly target one touch two touch and if you don't know what that means you gotta follow my free discord where i educate and teach everyone give everyone all my skills and help you to fish for yourself and of course if this were to fall down to the downside this would be my target here hope hope you're having a beautiful day beautiful okay so let's move into our weekly on our weekly time frame so this is our weekly contraction phase okay so you need to understand uh, trend phase contraction phase and again that comes with experience that comes with education and I do have a, um, a course and it's here in my Twitter I am awakened so underscore 369 and if you're not following me go ahead and follow me yesterday we took a beautiful Shiva short that I uh, shared on my discord on Twitter so yeah so back here so this is your contraction phase on the weekly. So what is your contraction phase telling you? Right, we're gonna draw some key trend lines again. So right here, what do you see off the bat? Right, because I know you see what I see. It is a megaphone. Okay, and what, and if you don't know how a megaphone plays out, Google it. <laughs> Everything's on Google. Sometimes the questions I get sometimes are interesting. Okay, and uh, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, and five, right? And after the fifth wave, one, two. Okay, big possibility, big bullish possibility something to keep in mind and that's just based on the pattern that we see okay nothing more nothing less I'm not making it up it's what the charts are literally showing me 
So if that's the case, right, you can see a nice rotation happening here, possible rotation here to the upside. So I'm going to put that little cup because it could be a nice cup here. And my weeklies are orange with that expectation of a possible push to the upside. And again, I'm going to uh, draw my trend, my uh, range, right? This is my high. This is my low. And I'm just going to put an arrow here because I understand and I know that that was my weekly um, expectation of a possible um, megaphone playing out. So let's move on to our daily time frame. In our daily time frame, you want to start assessing your trend in the daily time frame as a day trader. What I mean by trend is turning on the turning off the wicks. Okay. And there's your trend. EMAs give you your trend. So I use the 12 and 26 EMAs, and we can see that uh, the trend is crossing bullish on the daily now as 12 is heading back up over the 26. And this will just give you that trend of like, are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend? Okay, so we're in a crossing situation. Another way I could find trends, um, sure, we could, we could use the weights, right? You can see it trend down. Right, and this is an educational YouTube video, so you can learn, like I said, trend up, trend down, right? And you can see the trends, trend up. This is gonna be trend down. So because we are in our daily, we're gonna switch this one to yellow. Just make it nice and tight here. Candle wick to wick. I like to use the wicks for my trends, and um, I do use the line chart too. Right, sometimes it gives me a better confluence. Right, so it could have a nice react uh, rejection there, just based on the on this downtrend. And. The most important thing is to remember price action. Where is price action? Price action is here. So those trend lines here, this is so irrelevant. And I was just showing you the trend up and down. But concentrate on price action, okay? So we had a trend up. I guess we could keep that one. Not a big deal. But then we had a nice trend down. And this right here, we could see a possible rejection on a daily trend down. And don't forget your range. This is going to be your nice range. And this is how I assess every chart when I walk in. No expectations, no emotions. I come in and I play what I see. And this is trend up. Remember with that um, 1226 cross in mind. Okay, so now we're going to go to our four hour. Four hours, what do we see? So in my four hours, right, just like I have support, I'm going to have a resistance trend line. Just looking really quick, because this could be a bear flag. You see this beautiful channel forming. I mean, it's super high to be a bear flag, but a nice channel to the upside. Let's check our RSIs. Are we having any divergence? We are having divergence off the bat, right? RSI is coming down. And price action is going up. So that's your divergence there. In the four hour. So this channel will be the channel in play. So let me place it nice and tight here. So this channel, what you want to do, what you want to see, or what you want to, I would be doing is placing some alarms starting on your four hours, right? So if we break this major support, 
we know what's coming down right it's level to level it's a mechanical structure a weight mechanical structure so this is going to be my major support here let me go ahead and set alarms cross me down and remember our range so this is going to be my line in the sand for the down movement because it's based on my trend line and support break that's how i trade that's how i see the chart so another nice alarm headed to the downside and just like i have my support i'm going to have my resistance here no alarms there not yet so let's go to the one hour right this could definitely also be a cup a rotation to the upside you see that in your one hour so keep that in mind um trend lines Okay, one touch, two touch, trend line. Okay, there's your cup. So it's a an assessment that um like I said to place you can't trade DXY. The reason I charted is just to see the flow because if I if this alarms me and it's telling me it's gonna push down to the downside, it could give me a heads up oh that the market is going to, to move up. Or if I set an alarm here, right, on my weekly resistance and it pushes up to the upside, it's going to give me that confirmation, that confluence, okay, that the market is going to uh, fall. All right, so that's how I chart the DXY. No expectations, no emotions, um, just setting alarms to get that con um, confluence on my next trade. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And remember to follow me on Twitter at awakensoul_369. underscore 369. Thank you. And remember to do everything with love.